What's going on, my beautiful people from YouTube? Let's talk about a passive income miner that I know you guys are going to love. We're going to cover three big things today. First, yes, it is a plug and play miner. That means that you don't have to do much other than receive the device, plug it in, and mine away. Secondly, we always care about this. This is a big one. ROI. When are you going to get your money back and how this specific project ensures that people are getting their money back quickly, regardless if you join early or later, but there is a big incentive if you join early. Third, I care about the tech. I actually am interested in the things that this network is going to be able to do. So we're going to talk about what it actually does because that's a big deal because they are going to change the way that people look at mining as a whole. Tokenomics is next level. Like I said, that whole ROI thing is just it blew my mind away and today we are talking conduit network and here is their website it is shining pretty and they probably need to add the miner right to their home page because it's also pretty stinking awesome now i will say their website is actually cndt.io i think that's a little complicated i've messed it up before so conduit.action.ceo that does two things first it gets you to the website but secondly it's definitely a referral so y'all can hook it up and make sure that yours truly here gets compensated for sending you over i don't actually know what the compensation is to be exact but we'll figure it out i just want to make sure that you guys are finding out about this thing i've talked to the team myself and i want to go over some of the things that i like and there's definitely one big one that i do not like so make sure you watch till the end of the video so you know exactly what that is but let's jump right into it i'm just going to scroll down here and kind of cover what's actually going on on this main homepage real quick so truly distributed cloud there are there's a lot of information here guys so we got the pre-sale we got the blog and the documentation up there and that buy buy now button i'm gonna go over all of that so you guys can understand exactly how this works but really distributed cloud they actually do want to create an incredible deep in network that's going to you know i don't want to say others years and years back but they just want to make sure that they're providing something that will actually be sustainable and allow people to join partially completely they are not forcing anybody's hands to actually join this network which is really really cool and i'll get into the details on how that works a resilient network powered by you now there is a ton of stuff that goes into this one they are actually doing more than just ensuring that there are enough nodes distributed across the globe they are actively ensuring that the tech inside of those nodes is also next level and i know security is not sexy nobody likes talking about security until there's a breach so appreciate you at&t giving out everybody's uh, info there but it's important and it matters and i think that people should care about it a little bit more engineered interoperability this is what i was talking about it's not a matter of just saying you know everybody needs to be on this network that's not their approach their approach is we love our network we want to make sure that it's available for anybody else to join if you want to join just a piece of it fantastic if you want to join all of it if you want to bring your entire business over fantastic as well we'd love to have you but there are incredible incentives if you do either one especially if you're the one actually onboarding other people it's actually really really nice so this is kind of how it works democratizing the internet earn as you power the network they have so much built into this thing they've been building for i think at least five years and nobody knew what was going on i think their x account aka twitter is under five uh, not five but ten thousand subscribers which is just crazy for a project of this magnitude and i'm really i gotta say i am really impressed with what they put together but let's keep it going I do want to show i know i said minor so i have to kind of do a show and tell this is what the minor looks like so actually i do want multiples let's not lie i do want to have a bunch of these guys because i understand how it works why it works and i'm just really really bullish about what's going on in here and i do want to show you guys the documentation i told you the documentation on this was really good so if you are right here on the main website and you click on documentation it's going to take you to this page right here now there's a ton of stuff here and I will go over all of them, but I think it's kind of important for us to cover that ROI um, because it's a big deal. It is a very big deal. So here we go, conduit reward system. And I'm gonna go ahead, this is important. I'm, I can't do this all in one video. I'm gonna go ahead and do more videos on this because there's so much information to cover. But let me scroll down and show you what I'm talking about when it comes to ROI. Right here is the block distribution breakdown. Now think about Bitcoin. Bitcoin started, you know, with a quote unquote fair launch. I mean, not a lot of people knew about it. That's what they're doing. That's step number one. So the team, they don't have any tokens. There are no tokens out there. What they're doing is that they're going to be mining from the get go. So just like Bitcoin, if you got in early, you, you're, you're going to be a happy man, right? I got in Bitcoin in 2012, so I can tell you it's very nice when you're in there early 
um and you get to essentially get a lot a lot of rewards earn blocks all on your own like that was a really exciting time and this is what they're bringing back but there is a caveat to this it's not only blocks that you're going to be mining it's blocks with a breakdown and the way those blocks break down is network is getting 23.3 percent of the reward and that's the entirety of the network now we have block winner that's whoever um, you know unlocks that block 10 percent going to a performance incentive pool meaning that if you have really good hardware if you have a great connection if you're if you're doing things right if you're supporting the network the best way possible you're going to get that incentive of 10 percent open source is going to be those 10 percent right there that you will be able to essentially claim to build things and get the network up and running get more things built on it so there's always that incentive in the back to make sure that things are growing to make sure that things are actually moving forward and i always say this this is you don't get this in web 2 you don't get this anywhere else and i think it's so important to cover it get involved early in these projects if it's something you really like ask about it reach out dm get in telegrams get in discords anything you can possibly do because this opportunity doesn't last a long time as things grow you kind of lose that reach to be able to talk to founders to be able to talk to the people that are building things just do it i don't know how else to say it but please take take that into consideration and consider connecting with people that are in early they're going to have the best benefit out of this whole thing because you're going to be able to get the true information about where it came from how does it work is it worth it or how did you come up with this idea so that connection piece is everything to me and i say that because i did reach out to the team i did talk to them i did actually have a uh twitter spaces with them so it's it, i don't know how to say this like you all know how i operate i love web3 i love especially mining but if i don't like you if you're not good people i'm just not gonna do anything with you so let's get back into that roi thing with these good people and i know you guys read that roi pool is 23.3 percent but action what does our roi pool mean well what it means is that you're going to be able to get your money back your initial investment very quickly so as soon as you plug your miner in here's what's going to happen your node is going to say hey snapshot how much the price of the token is snapshot of how all these things um, are going and let's go ahead and ensure that 23.3 percent of the rewards are going to all these nodes that just onboarded and this is for every block every single block they're going to get that 23.3 percent reward for everyone on the network that recently onboarded and have not yet earned enough tokens to be able to pay off that initial investment that is so huge so huge i think a lot of people miss that whenever they're going into new projects it's always a matter of all right when can i get my money back because as soon as you make that money back guess what everything from that point forward is literally passive income you've paid off your initial investment if you need to pull that out happy day go do it go sell that initial investment and you can actually earn from then on without having to worry about a thing now yes speculatively speaking if you if the token you know go, goes down in price that is a problem but if you think about it this way if you get in early if you get in now let's say token isn't even out so you're essentially going to be mining at the valuation of uh, early investors people that uh, like essentially before the token price even goes out so the upside potential here is pretty large and I mean I'm always looking for opportunities out there that I can plug something in and be able to earn indefinitely and not have to worry about things and I mentioned you know helium helium didn't do this and there was a very very tough spot for them with all these HNT miners because who in the world wants to deploy or buy more miners if they don't have an incentive to be able to make their money back yes I I was making my money back on helium miners within a few days um, and then it's that changed to a few weeks and now it takes a whole lot longer than that so instead of having that concern of having to shut things down and say this is not worth it anymore i'm not going to spend more money the incentives here actually drive you to maybe purchase even more units because you are guaranteed to earn that 23.3 percent distributed across the network if you have not made your money back on that purchase so it's just a really good way to onboard new users everyone is always always asking okay so when can i make my money back how many how many how many months until i roi with this incentive it changes the game 
it makes sure that people are being you know put ahead of everybody else if they're new on the network to be able to that they can get that return on their initial investment so they can spend that money elsewhere buy other nodes do a bunch of different things but ultimately it's taking care of miners which i personally love but it but wait that's not all i said it was plug and play and i do mean that it's plug and play um i had an opportunity to speak to some of the uh, the the members of the team and my one request was like so i know you can do a lot of different things because it is a very unique unit in the sense that there's a ton of stuff that you can do with it. And I'll tell you about that in a second. I want to be able to click next, 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 maybe three, four times and have the thing just go, right? Like set up my wallet, make sure that I have a wallet set up. And then from there, just start earning. And that's exactly the promise that I got. They said, yep, yeah, we're going to do everything in our power to make sure that as long as you set up that wallet and then you click next, you're good to go. Things are going to move forward and you're going to be able to really mine away. Now, there is one downside to this whole thing, something that I really, I'll just say that I dislike, that I think it's a negative for the project. Wait till the end and I'll be sure to tell you about that one. But until then, remember, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a comment down below. I should do a giveaway. I need to work on a giveaway for this video. Yeah, we're gonna, we, we gotta do giveaways. I, I love when I'm actually able to bless you guys with some good stuff and make sure y'all are winning. So we're, we're gonna figure that one out. I don't know what it is, but leave a comment down below. I'll, I'll pick one of you and give y'all something just because y'all deserve it y'all are putting up with me listening to what i have to say and hopefully making money alongside of me long term let's keep at it because let me show you what we got going on this is the documentation now when i said there's a lot to this whole thing there is a lot to this whole thing i promise you i would explain a little bit of what does it actually do um it can do a lot and the main thing is that they want their network to give rewards out based on the actual transactions, the usage of it, instead of rewarding people for, you know, solving a SHA-256 algorithm and basically guessing over and over again the way that Bitcoin works, they are trying to do something a little bit different, which is actually super helpful for you and I. Ultimately, it's a proof of participation. If you're transacting in the network, you get rewarded, which is really, really awesome. I just hope everybody picks my node to transact through because uh, that helps me but it just incentivizes people to actually use the network more and more instead of just saying, I'm going to grab this thing, I'm going to earn it, then I'm going to sell it. That, that's not the way this one works. It's transact with the network, build upon the network, host things on the network, and you're going to be able to earn even more. The conduit devices are going to be a little bit different, and I guess I should show you that sooner rather than later. They do have two different devices, and this is what it's going to look like. So this is the pre-sale page. There are two different types of devices. There is the conduit core, the founder's edition, um, with that node zero, because you're not trying to create a you know layer one, layer two, layer three. No, no, they are looking at a layer zero where other people can build upon it. So device one, it's uh, $3,499. There's 800 devices available there. And the other device is whatever you have. It can be your device, the one that you might be using right now. As long as it meets the specifications, you can purchase a software license and go to town and just enjoy it on your own device. Why will I say that, hey, I like this one. I like the $3,400 one because uh, there's benefits to it. First, like I said, the hardware inside of this thing is next level. It's hardware that I, I personally don't have looking into what this thing is all about. I actually don't have some of the things, some of the features that they will be talking about later on down the line. It's it gets really complicated, guys. I'm not even going to lie. There is the connectivity module, which is again, they have Wi-Fi, you know, Wi-Fi 7. They talk about the different bands from 2.4, 5, 6 gigahertz bands. They have a lot of different things that go on. So as far as speeds go, you can see all that here. It does work with the mesh network and the security module, military grade encryption physical access control for data center security so this is a big big piece of why i want to get this one and not just the license when i get uh, a license and i run it on my machine i'm going to be limited as to what my unit will be trusted to do that's the best way to, to say it because i don't have the security module with the with the military grade encryption that this one has it's essentially it's saying hey your device is verified 
and it has a better performance than others as long as my internet doesn't mess up on me i should be okay it does things that others can't do it's i mean the cpu clock on that one is a 1.9 care about that it's a uh, four cores but it doesn't behave the same way that your normal cpu would that's that's the main piece here so it is literally there for security purposes and then the compute module which is the bottom portion is you know a 3.7 gigahertz with 16 cores and 64 gigs of ram four terabytes of storage and it's got thunderbolt 4 ethernet and all that good stuff for you to connect it so that's what makes up the miner itself like i said but wait that's not all the cool part of this is that yes this is a node for conduit but this can also be a node for other networks you can actually deploy vms or containers from other blockchains from other you can use this as a validator so instead of saying oh i'm gonna buy this whole unit and like i am 100 dependent on conduit and how they perform no you can now locally host a lot of things that you might be sending out to a cloud or paying a service to be able to host so you can double dip triple dip depending on how much you know how the requirements are for these other uh nodes that you can install here you can keep earning over and over again from multiple networks. And that is really what I don't even know how to say this entices me a lot about this. This project is cool as a whole, like I was saying, but just because they are not looking to have a, such a closed system that you don't have access to it. Because let me tell you, like what drives me crazy in this space sometimes is people creating um, I don't want to call it vaporware, but essentially if you create a product that you can't do anything else with, and you don't open it and open it up enough for the users well if that network doesn't do well everyone is losing but if you create something with the idea of i want to make sure i'm opening this network and this device you own it it's your device why shouldn't you be able to deploy more things on it that is something that gives me a whole lot of confidence like that is what i love to hear when the, these organizations that are up and coming really do the right thing i guess that's the best way to say it it is doing the right thing is putting the power in the power in the hands of people that's what matters most to me and i love the fact that they're going this route i think it it, it speaks volumes as far as why it matters but if you do want to get just that license this is what it's going to look like a stable internet connection uh, it's awful over here i'm trying my best i'm trying my best i got two connections and they're bonded but it, yeah i, I I'm, I'm still struggling at times storage you need at least 500 gigs you need at least 16 gigs of ram and you need a cpu of four cores that's the the basics for it if you're going to run just the no the the node license and you're not buying the device itself like i said i do think the device is worth it because rewards are going to be higher because you're going to have a higher level of security that people are going to be able to trust the device more performance wise obviously it's got way better specs than what the requirements are for just for the node so and the fact that you can run other vms and essentially deploy containers on that device makes it really really appealing for me i can keep this video going for at least an hour with all the things that i want to talk about but I'm gonna do two things first promise you guys that i will talk more about it and break down some of the important things that are uh built into the conduit network and secondly i am going to pester um brandon who's the ceo over there to do an interview with me um hopefully we can get him on camera ask all the questions under the sun my ask from you guys is very simple and do two little things leave that comment down below and within that comment ask away what is it that you want to know I'm going to use the comments to essentially feed that conversation with Brandon because it's not just me asking questions. I want to know what you guys care about as well. So ask away, ask those questions, and I will tell you what I want to know, which is the the downside to it, right? I told you there was something that I dislike about this uh, whole thing, and I found out about it when I went to actually purchase a device. I went to purchase the, the Founders Edition, and let me show you what I came across. Purchase Conduit or Founders Edition. I clicked on here, connected my wallet, and I was like, man, I'm kind of broke. What's going on? And then I realized Arbitrum 1. This is the network where your tokens need to be in for you to be able to purchase this device. Then it's pretty straightforward. You just got to like scroll through this thing, agree, and sign to the terms and conditions of the network itself. And then you're going to keep going and basically pay and check out. But Arbitrum, I just, I, I just don't you know, have any money in Arbitrum. To be honest with you, that's really the biggest problem for me. It's something that we can overcome, right? That's what bridges were made for. If you go to bridge.arbitrum.io, it gives you this little pretty box over here that allows you to actually bridge funds over. Again, not ideal. Like I said, I will definitely ask them to see what's going on over there because I do think that this is a good, cool project and I want to see it do well because 
I'm going in it. I'm really going into this one, talking about it because they gave me money. I haven't gotten anything from them. I just really enjoy what these guys have been up to. And I do need to make some more money because I only have $280 worth of ETH on this wallet. So I can't buy it right now. I will be getting one of these devices. I, I just have to. It's one of those things when you have enough conviction in a, a project, when you look into the details and you're like, yeah, this actually does not only make sense. It makes a lot of sense. Um, even with the downside of being only on Arbitrum right now, we'll, we'll overcome those things and make sure that we're able to get things done so that we can enjoy this really cool network. But yeah, that's it. I really appreciate you guys listening in. A lot more to come, I promise you, because I didn't even go through whole page of their documentation. There's so much that this network is going to be able to do what these devices are capable of. And I want to make sure that you guys don't miss it. So check out that presale conduit.action.ceo is the best way for you to get that node because it benefits me. I'm not trying to hide the buck. I'm telling you guys exactly how it works. I got to figure out what I get from it. I don't even know exactly what that's going to be, but I am just happy to be able to send you guys to a really cool project from what I can tell so far really cares not only about the network the nodes but they really care about people man like that is of uttermost importance in my book and if you focus on that everything else just falls into place so thank you all so much appreciate you listening in we'll catch you on the next video have a great one